Hey everybody, it's Angela and I am in my craft room today and I'm just not in the mood to scrap. It's pretty hot here. It's like, oh, it's in the low 90s, but my craft room just doesn't have any kind of AC, so I'm not really um, feeling the mojo to scrap. So I thought I'd go ahead and do an album share. And this is an album I did a long time ago, probably uh, around 2004, 2005, right in that area probably. And so, you know, it's kind of one of those retro album shares. So you can see what my style was back when I started more scrapbooking. I did digital scrapbooking before uh, this. So, um, yeah, so anyhow, I just thought I'd go ahead and share. And this is um, a 12 by 12 post bound album. And it's got this pocket in the front of it with this clear thing so that you could decorate the front. And I don't see these style of albums anymore. It's by a brand called, let's see if you can zoom in there. That'll focus. It's called uh, Nakabayashi Company in Tokyo, Japan. And so I've never seen this one again, um, but I really do love it because it also um, has on the back this um, stand. So you can stand it up on a shelf or a mantle or something and be able to see this and then take it down and um, look at it. So yeah, I love it. Um, they didn't have spiral bound scrapbooks when I started so these post bound ones were the only ones you could get. So anyhow this is a travel album of some of my uh, time in Nicaragua and so I did a collage on the front. This is like a stir stick um, from some a drink and it says Florida Cana on it which is a type of rum that they make in Nicaragua that we drink and um, then I just cut some things out of some of these are from brochures this tag and string was off of a bag of coffee beans. Um, they grow coffee in Nicaragua, shade-grown coffee. I have some coins down here. I have some of my own photos uh, mixed in. My uh, airline ticket stub. Um, a little leather patch that says Nicaragua on it. And uh, a business card from uh, a um, cigar. Uh, maker there so yeah just this is a picture I took that I had an extra one of here's a brochure of the hotel and um, yeah so just various different things to make a collage on the front and so when we open it up um, this one was um, done with, I did a big title on it, and so this is actually an, a um, transparency. And so I printed the title onto a piece of clear transparency, and then I used these brads here to hold the transparency on. And um, it just says sometimes it's the little things that bug you the most. And this is a picture of just some of the bugs that were in Nicaragua. This is my boot, and you can see these big legs of a tarantula that took up residence in my boot. Luckily, I saw him. I checked my boot before I put it on, so I saw him before I put my foot in there, which is very good. Inside this brad here, and I'll zoom in. It was open, and so I put this little tiny, it's a baby scorpion, and there were a lot of scorpions hatching and they ride on the backs of their moms and so a lot of times they would fall off. Um, our room was, you know, open to the jungle. A lot of houses, you know, everything's kind of open to the outside. So the scorpions would come through there. The little babies fall off or get off the back of the mom and whatever. This one was, we had a bug net but somehow this one still got on the, bu on the bed and my husband almost went to whack it thinking it was like an ant or an earwig or something and I go hey that looks like a baby scorpion and he stopped right before he hit it or he probably would have gotten stung by it which wouldn't have been fun and there's a close-up of the tarantula that was in my shoe and then this is just a picture of another scorpion that I took a photograph that I just fussy cut the scorpion out of 
and I did my journaling on clear transparency as well and attached it with these little brads so it was computer journaling and then I just put some other bug pictures you know butterflies spiders sun spiders and um, stick bugs and that kind of stuff so just kind of documenting uh, some of the bugs you have to be able to roll with it and relax when there's that many bugs around um, yeah because otherwise you'll go a little crazy and so anyhow so that is this page this one was just a collage of some uh, photographs I did my journaling on the computer and matted it and I cut some striped paper out I used a punch to punch these flowers and um, some clear uh, stickers to do the title so really my scrapbooking was really uh, very simple and I just attached the flower with some brads I matted my photos in a large collage and this is just a pig roast that we went to and there she's like gonna boil part of the head to get the rest of the meat off of the bones and they just lay out like banana leaves and stuff to use as a counter you know and to have a clean up the counter um, on this one it was kind of a themed page of um, the dog that lived there uh, where we were staying and I've got this um, I don't know if you remember those little badges that have the little metal clips that go around the back that you cramp uh, clamp on there and it just says woof woof. I've got a little ribbon tie sticking out. I made a dog bone that I put the title on. And I had one of those little tiny punches that did paw prints. So I did those kind of on each side and across the bottom. Here's another little piece of ribbon. And then I did some computer journaling. Mostly because, you know, when you're traveling you have a little bit more journaling to, to talk about. So... I just went ahead and computer journaled. And you can see when we started saying there, um, El Negro was pretty skinny. And um, later, after he'd been around me for a while, I, I fattened him up a little bit. So he was, um, yeah, he was an interesting dog. So I wanted to do a page about him. So again, very simple page. Um, this is a double page spread, so I'll zoom out a little bit here. Um, this one is of the tile factory that we went to and I have one of the tiles from this factory and I scanned the tile in and then I used it, I printed it out to make and cut it out to make this border. So this is a scanned copy of an actual tile that I brought back. I just matted some photos from the tile factory and they did each tile was pressed by hand in this, um, in this press here. So it was really fun to get to see them work. And then this is the actual, this is the whole tile that I brought back, except it's about this big. And I just reduced it and made these. And then I made a little flip up door for my journaling. And then under this is a different, all the different tile floors that we saw while we were there. So let me zoom in for that. So this is kind of an interactive double page spread. So you can see just some of the different floor designs of the tiles that they made there. I didn't have the greatest camera back then, so you know the photographs aren't super great, but you know, it was the early 2000s. And then on this page, I used one of those slide mounts. I don't know if anybody uses slide mounts anymore, but I covered a slide mount. Um, I used a piece of foam and put this photo up on foam and then put the slide mount on top so, and then made a little cavity in there so that I could fit uh, some coffee beans. You can see there, there's a couple coffee beans from the uh, roasting plant. And um, I did some stamping on the corners and those were those big foam stamps. Um, that they had back in the day. I have some little
corners. I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm zooming in and out so much. Maybe I'll just try to stay here. And um, there's more stamping on this corner to match it. And then um, I stamped this title as well and then just outlined it with a pen, put a little ribbon on there. And I didn't even mat these photos. I looks like I just inked them. And I put that stamp on this corner as well. And this is just they're raking coffee beans out in the sun, drying them, and here they're hand sorting them. And then um, this is the jungle where they're being shade grown coffee. And then this is a close up I took of some ripe coffee beans. And then these are some roasted coffee beans that I got at the facility. This one is another large photograph. I put some, I think these were rub ons. Yeah, they're like a rub-on title, and then um, I fussy cut out um, a butterfly and put it up on some foam squares. And again, I did, I just put some of these butterflies are all up on foam squares, and I put a bunch of silk flowers on here. I matted a picture of me running around in the jungle catching butterflies, which is what I would do every Christmas. And um, there you can see the silk different silk flowers and I just used brads in the center so yeah not many people they don't use silk flowers that much anymore but I really love um, the colors and how it looks so there's that page this is another double page spread this is about Lake Nicaragua I did this title on my computer and I printed it onto some of this water to give continuity from this photograph down to here and then I have these zigzag brads does anybody have these zigzag brads I don't know I'm not sure anybody even makes these anymore but I had some zigzag brads large photograph and then I just matted four photographs over here I did a tag with one of those big bar staples on it another zigzag brad and then I did some bullet points and I used brads for my bullets and then I have a picture of a shark because uh, Lake Nicaragua has freshwater sharks in it. And so let me zoom in. I'll show you this tag here. Yeah, so this is one of those bar staples that you could get in different colors. Um, I still have that staplery. Yeah, I'm going to see here. Yeah, you remember these staplers, these long reach ones that have the... I still use this, and they discontinued a lot of... Um, the staples for that so I was able to buy a ton of staples and, and I still use it sometimes so oops there we go so yeah just pretty simple just matted squares and stuff so here's another double page spread this is of the Messiah volcano this one I did my journaling on a transparency which I used this time I used eyelets to um, attach the transparency and I rounded the corners on everything and I rounded just opposite corners on these little like inset views of the volcano and then I used one big photo that spanned over two pages again I made a photo corner out of pattern paper attached it with two eyelets put a couple photos down here rounded the corners and I put three eyelets here to kind of um, carry that along so pretty simple, just pretty much just matted photographs. It's another double page spread of Masa Chapa at the beach, so another large photo. Eyelets, blue eyelets in each of the corners to hold it on. Just an initial um, chipboard alpha because usually they, were, they came in like a little black cylinder with a bunch of these orange chipboard letters in it and you only got like one of each letter so you had to use it like a like a drop cap and um, then I just used a clear alphabet sticker then I have three inset photos with uh, ribbon um, tabs on the top and then again just some matted photos a large photo repeated the ribbon motif and this one it goes down uh, through it and then I have a raised epoxy sticker with a little metal rim on it and then I have one of those clear boxes with some of the shells that I found 
while beach combing. So that's kind of cool that I'm able to have some of these shells in my scrapbook. Oh, sorry you guys. Doing the best I can here. Hope it's not making anybody sick. Um, here's another double page spread, another large photo. Um, this is on, um, I think it's a DCWV paper stack, kind of a fairy tale paper stack. that has some uh, gold. They were just starting to get some of this gold um, highlights in the paper. I have a brad, um, silver rimmed brad with some purple on it. I inked the edge of my photo. And this is uh, the in Lyon at one of the cathedrals there. And just again, just more matted pictures of the cathedral. I've got a paper clip with a charm, again with purple. And it looks like these are chipboard letters that I covered with the same paper. So I would cover the chipboard and cut it out so it all would match. And um, yeah, and then just put more touches of gold on there. So again, really simple. Another double page spread. I guess I was into way more double page spreads, I guess especially for travel ones because I had such big photos I wanted to highlight or I wanted to really see the photos. So this is one of the cemeteries in Granada. And then I have this close-up photo of one of the um, headstones and I put a slit in it and ran my ribbon through the slit behind the photo and out the other slit to make this photo kind of into a ribbon slide. I have a mulberry, some layered mulberry paper flowers and a brad. And then I did my journaling in big blocks and put on here. I have a little piece of chipboard down here. Again, um, I have that same ribbon from the other page repeated here. And I put an eyelet uh, between each of these photos. So pretty simple. This is, uh, again, more views of Mombacho. And I used, um, on, this, on these volcano pictures, I used all clear epoxy um, or clear stickers. So you know those raindrop epoxies that you can get or you could get back in the day? Um, let me see if I can zoom in and show you. It's really subtle. I put them on there, you can see right there and there and there, I put these little raindrop photos because it's a rainforest so I wanted the foliage on this side of the photo to glisten like it was covered with dew so I used um, those epoxy dewdrop stickers to do that and I have some over here as well and then I used clear epoxy stickers to do volcano on the bottom and then I use the same clear stickers to do rain, cloud, and forest, and then an M for Mombacho. And this is actually a clear epoxy tag. And I just put a brad in it and a black bow. And I have some clear epoxy um, photo corners on there on a lot of these as well. So um, yeah, I went with all kind of a clear theme on this and just, um, inked the edges of the photos. The only one I matted was this one. And again, really simple. Another double page kind of spread. Um, just some of the markets that we went to. I kind of combined different markets all in this spread. Um, I used some, I have no idea, just some tile letter stickers. And then I have a square brad there. I matted one large photo. And then I did kind of just a row of photos down here with more square brads in the top and kind of pulled the orange and red out of this because of all these stack of carrots and stuff that were there. And um, my hubby's there buying a rocking chair. We still have this rocking chair. And, um, and then these are some more markets and a business card from one of the markets and again more of these square brads. Um, another photo which I didn't mat the whole thing but I put a little bit on this corner and just showing some of the people there with their different um, crafts. 
And then this one was um, getting around in Nicaragua. A photo of this uh, horse and carriage. And then just uh, three tags with photos. Um, one with a guy carrying all these mattresses on his back. One with a... Um, where they were carrying a pool on the back of their car. This is like a, one of those blow-up pools. It was crazy. And then this guy, you see he's got a live chicken strapped to the back of his bicycle. And then on this side, I just did a bunch of different squares of things I saw. You know, pony carts, horseback riders, bicycles with oxen in the road, this three-wheeled uh, little vehicles they have. Um, here's another cart with, I think that's being um, pulled by cattle. This one is a cart being pulled by a person and pushed by two little boys. Here's some of the buses. Here is a truck where they've got a hammock slung in the back and the guy is sleeping in the back of the truck. Got people with baskets on their head with their horses and mules laid down and pony carts and bicycle carts and yeah so again I did more of these clear one that stickers explore discover journey and then I have some torn edge paper along this side where it says in Nicaragua and that kind of echoes um, this little bit of torn edge paper here and the torn edges on the bottom of the tags. So was getting into the um, the torn edge papers at this point in time. This is a double page spread um, of the cathedral in Granada and just rounded the corners of these photos um, and inked them brown. I didn't mat them. I have these cool square bronze brads in between each of them and then I did one of these huge photos because um, my husband and I were taking pictures using a fisheye lens so I was, we were playing with the fisheye you can see I'm sitting right there <laughs> and then um, just some clear letter stickers and some more of those bronze brads and I didn't even mat this photo so I just kinda let the photo you know be the star of the show so oh here's a single page spread so this is just of some of the food. So I've got a few epoxy stickers. I guess a lot of my stickers were epoxy back then. Just as a pinch of this, a dash of that, and then this is epoxy too. Unfortunately, the background color kind of shows up, kind of makes this kind of an off color. I should have backed these on white and cut them out and stuck them on at the time, but you know. So, um, Here's just a plate of food, the platanos and meat and rice and potatoes. And then I just have here um, just some pricing for the cervezas and a couple restaurant places that we went to and one of the menus from a restaurant matted there. On this side, I must have run out of A's and S's, so I used <laughs> capital ones. So hamacas, and I use great big brads on each side of the title, and then showed the hammocks that they make there, some little brads, and some little brads echoed here with a strip of three photos that I just inked. And then the photo on the bottom, I poked some holes in it and put some string in each side to make it like a hammock, and strung it on there, and then I've got a couple more brads down there. So. I don't know, kind of corny, I guess, but you know, hey, it was, it was a while ago. <laughs> and then this is the last page, and this is at the police station. And those were a um, couple people uh, there, and we actually, um, my husband accidentally, it was really tight, and we accidentally dented a car. Um, so we of course went and took care of that issue and you can see the dent right there and you know of course I had to give my husband a bad time about it but they were so nice and um, you know helped us get everything taken care of but uh, this is one of the uh, patches 
from the Nicaraguan police. And I just have here in a drop down all the different um, laws, dangers, fines, and things like that that you need to be aware of and looking out for when you're there. And um, in the background, I used um, that shelf liner. Do you know that? Um, like a, that you put down to keep stuff from slipping on your shelves. Usually it's black, but they had different colors of it at the dollar store back then. And I remember I got a couple different colors, so I put this blue shelf liner in the back, and then I had a charm which was in the shape of a badge. So I went ahead and put that on there for being um, police. And then that finished this album out. That was the end of it. So, um, yeah, so this was kind of my early some of my earlier work and not the earliest I have to find one of my earlier scrapbooks so um, if you guys have questions on anything here let me know if you liked this let me know if you want to see more albums like this I can do more flip throughs of some of my earlier style and what I was doing back in the day and um, you know because some of these ideas are kind of coming back around and um, you know, I always get inspired again if I see a technique and I'm like, hey, that was pretty cool. I want to bring that back or something like that. So, yeah, let me know. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.